Yes! All right, yes, 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 yes. Shit's about to get real, son. All right, okay. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Oh, I'm happy to be here, man. This is cool, man. This is fancy. This is fancy now. I, so fancy, I even ironed my T-shirt. That's how you know it's fancy. I'm telling you, man. So I'm trying to be more fancy now. That's my thing. I'm trying to be more fancy. So I started wearing glasses. I'm like, boom, face fancy now. So I started wearing glasses. And my mom actually said to me that with these glasses and beard combination, that I look like a guy in prison who reads. Yeah? <laughs> like, yeah, I'm just trying to do my time, bro. You know, <laughs> wait for that parole meeting. <laughs> Yeah, what we're we gonna talk about? Let's keep it. Let's keep it light-hearted. Um, let's talk about race relations. Um, <laughs> look, I know. Look, but I'm, I can see you're uncomfortable. I don't want to talk about it either, but I have to. Okay, I have to. Okay, because race is awkward. Okay, I know it. Race makes me awkward too. You know, because look, man, look, I, look, I ain't proud of this. Okay, but what's racism if I can't say it for the room for the white people? Check it out, right? So, um, <laughs> I'm doing this gig the other day, right? It's an all-white audience, and I start doing a routine about how people think I look like a terrorist, right? Because you know, I have a beard, people are pricks, right? So I'm doing the routine, right? And people start getting upset at me, right? So I carry on, because I'm no quitter, right? So I just carry on doing the routine. And one woman stands up and says, just get over it. And I go, what the hell? No? I get pissed off. Yeah? I start talking about white privilege and how she don't understand what it's like for people to think that you're a terrorist. Then halfway through the rant, I realized I was in Northern Ireland. <laughs> yeah, I messed up. You know what I'm saying, man? I, I forgot there was different types of white people. I got to lie to you. <laughs> Should have saved my race card for later. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I forgot about that rare white man struggle. <laughs> My family are crazy, man. There's one guy I like in my family, though. One guy I love to bits. It's my granddad. He's a cool guy. He's old as shit, nearly dead. He's like 70, right? Old. <laughs> old, guys. I love him, right? Because he was like a train driver for 50 years, right? Never took a day off. We don't do that, right? Still wears a union badge. Like, I'm going to go and strike Jamali. Strike him what? The garden? Then go shut up, right? I swear to God. He was such a socialist that he still wakes up in the middle of the night angry at Margaret Thatcher. Like, that's how deep he is. That she stole the milk, Jamal. She stole the milk. <laughs> but it's weird how your family can influence your ideas and your decisions. It's weird, right? Because looking at my granddad, right, it kind of made me happy politically that we left the EU, right? Now relax your hippies, okay? I avoid Remain. I want to put it out there before you lynch me, right? I avoid Remain. I did, right? But there's only one reason I'm happy we left the EU, right? Because I've been saying this thing for a long time, right? And everyone thought I was an asshole for saying it, right? But now that we've left, I think we can all agree one thing, right? I think we can all agree that we need to stop old people voting. And now listen. <laughs> should be 17 to 50, 51 if you're not a prick. Like, I think that's... <laughs> you know, so I'd like to see some old school... Look at old school right there. He's hating it right now. He's like, I want to vote. Listen, are you looking for a mortgage? No. So why are you still voting? <laughs> why should you decide if we do poppers? When's the last time you had a party? <laughs> But I like getting older. Don't we like getting older, old school? We love it, don't we? We love getting older. Because as you get older, you start to accept stuff about yourself. You do, you have to, you know? Like, it took me 25 years to realize that this is my face. Yeah? <laughs> this ain't getting any better, man. Because when I was younger, I always wanted to be better looking, you know? I need to be crazy good looking. I just wanted to be good looking enough to cheat, right? <laughs> no, hear me? on my girlfriend. I love my girlfriend. Sometimes, okay? But I need something to say in an argument that sounds believable once in a while, right? Like, look, I have Tinder, and my girlfriend knows I have Tinder, and doesn't even care. She doesn't care. She's like, good luck. Yeah? That's a of facial abilities. And Tinder is disgusting, but amazing at the same time. I love it. I hate it. I don't know. <laughs> You know, because Tinder's great. Because what I love about Tinder is it will make you realize some social stuff about people, you know? Like I was on Tinder the other day, right? And I'm flicking through the profiles because I'm a scumbag. <laughs> right? so I'm flicking the profiles. 
and I see this one profile, right? And every picture was just a lady with her titties out, right? Just, um, that's what titties sound like in my head because I'm 12, do we, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so she had her titties out, just, and, and in the description it just said, any dick, any time. And I was like, wow, all right. You know your market, I like it, right? So, <laughs> show my girlfriend the profile. My girlfriend looks at the profile and goes, oh my God. What a whore, I said, what babe, no. There is too much slut shaming in this world. She is no hoe, she is a revolutionary. <laughs> Confusing, right? I'm gonna explain to you why, like, you gotta understand. Everything in this world has a price. Everyone and everything has a price. And in this world where everything has a price, the price of vagina is very high, okay? Listen, if it was on the stock market, it would be oil and gold, right? But listen, I ain't just giving women no number. Men, we have a number as well. But we got dick, and dick ain't worth shit. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you gotta have dick. You gotta back that up with some collateral, you know? You gotta have a dick and a personality. Dick and a job. Dick and a life plan, right? Listen, we could have a warehouse full of penis, and it wouldn't be worth as much as a picture of a pussy, right? It's worth it. <laughs> so when she said any dick, any time, she just crashed the whole pussy economy. Just what I'm saying. <laughs> she had a credit crunch of vagina. She gave vagina back to the working class man. <laughs> She's the Karl Marx of pussy, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Anyway, my name's been Jumadi, and this has honestly been one of my favorite times of my life. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you.